What's in the box? All right, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting edition of What's in the Box. This is Chris McEwen's YouTube channel. I am Bill Bush, DriveRangeHeroes.com. You can find me there at Range Heroes on all the social media. Do us a favor. Get it out of the way right out of the bat. Go down below. Hit subscribe for more of these great videos. Hitting your subscription uh, timeline, I guess we'll call it, here on YouTube. You can hit the bell so you're notified when they go up. We also do our show, That Range Life, a show is sometimes about golf. Every week, we do course vlogs, equipment reviews, everything. We do it all. So, subscribe, hit the bell, and do me a favor. Give the video a like if you like these kinds of things. Leave a comment below if you have anything you want to contribute to the conversation, questions, whatever. All right? So, let's see what we got here. Golf box, right? It's pretty thin. I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but we'll see. Away. Okay. It's one. Two. It's a tricky one right here. Three. All right. Let's put this down. Yeah, I talk about knife safety, and then you leave this thing up here. I'm going to stab myself. All right. Let's see. Oh man, little bits of paper. That's gonna be a mess. There we go. Hmm. Looks like some golf laboratory work. Let's see what we got. Securely, two, it's two golf shafts, securely rubber banded together. Like that, so that wobbling all over the place in the box. Jeez. How many? Okay. Got it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, okay. All right. Check this out. The new Project X Evenflow Riptide shafts. We got two new models this season. The black lx and the red mx okay so you may recall the original even flow riptide was a big success very popular review over at driverandchairs.com um sort of a mid-spin mid-trajectory shaft with uh there's something called um torsional stability optimization so it's basically the idea the right torque in the golf shaft to go along with how stiff it is right because it's like if you being low in torque but a certain stiffness you know don't necessarily go hand in hand but they find found a way to do it with different materials anyway very popular shaft is very player friendly nice gradual profile i really liked it a lot myself these bad boys we have a mid launch kind of that more mid mid territory here with the even flowed riptide MX, okay. Um, it's very low torque. That's what they're saying with these things. They're very, very, very low torque, but they're still easy to load. They're using materials that, in, there's new materials, new design processes that make it easier to still get a nice load and uh, energy transfer, if you will, at impact, to load and unload. So you can still get good medium launch medium spin get that carry you're looking for get the ball up in the air of course they say that we have to see what actually happens okay very excited to see what's going on with this guy um we'll see i i, I like a nice mid trajectory shaft that is easy to load and easy to get that energy transfer but that feels stiff and stable if you don't know what i mean it's sort of like not feeling like a telephone pole or a wet noodle. It's just perfect, sweet, that this nice Goldilocks just right feeling. They can swing away, but still it's a little sweeter and softer to get the ball up in the air. We'll see if that's what this shaft does. Okay, that's the MX. Let's talk about the LX. Looks similar to the original even flow, flow Riptide, minus the red writing here now, but uh, pretty good looking. 
This is for the low launch, low spin crowd, okay? The idea with this guy is, same thing, you're gonna have low torque, right? You don't want that thing twisting around and you know losing its shape and retaining it. You want it to hold its shape, stay a nice cylinder as it comes through, and spend all of that energy transfer back into the golf ball, not keeping its shape and turning back into what it's supposed to look like. That's what we're supposed to get here with the new, uh, you know, high modulus and high strength materials that are available in the shaft market these days. Now, the reason, the difference between these two, this has an extra stiff lower tip section, right? That's where you're really going to get that thing to hold up, stay stable, but keep the ball lower, keep your spin down. So faster swing speeds or faster tempos tend to do better with a shaft like that. Um, but... That's where you go get fit. Everybody's a little bit different. Everybody has different responses to gear, so maybe your swing is not a good fit for that. Only one way to find out. Oh, check this out. Just notice that. So custom Drive Range Heroes etching right here. Like that. Right now? Yeah, we won't be able to see it do this whole thing. I'll, supplemental pictures. Anyway, the Evenflow Riptide LX low launch, low spin version. That's the goal here. We'll obviously find out in testing. I like what they're saying about both of these on paper. I'm really excited to try them both, but I want to see what they actually do. How does my swing respond to these? We'll throw these in my driver, see how it goes, get a full review over on DriveRangeHeroes.com. We'll talk about it on that range life, but that's it. That's the new Project X, Evenflow, Riptide MX, and LX. Been hearing a lot of good things. Apparently, they've been out on tour to, in getting rave reviews. Um, since like February. I've also heard they've been contending and getting a lot of feedback against a very popular shaft from another brand. I'll just leave it at that. Really excited to try these out. I hope you guys are excited to find out about it and we'll check out the reviews when they're out. All right, that's what was in the box this week. We'll talk to you guys soon.